Hi, welcome to your 12 minute lower body workout. Today you won't need any props. If you want to add ankle weights for a little bit more spice, by all means do that. And if you want to add some music to this series, check below in the link and you will see my Spotify workout. It's called Happy Beats. Let's get started into this 12 minute lower body. So coming into a tabletop position, keep your hands and knees mat width apart, I mean hip width apart, and then send your right leg all the way back and up. Your toes are pointing down, you're going to start to pulse that right leg up and down. We have 30 seconds on, no breaks in between, so every exercise is back to back. Just one round of everything and then you are done. Keeping your gaze towards the floor, really activate the core. So pull it in and then make those pulses even bigger. Connect to breath. Let that be your fuel. You've got three, two, and one. Send your right leg towards one side of the mat and then send it to the opposite side. So you're making nice big rainbows with that right leg. Every time you lift it up, to the highest point, really squeeze that bum cheek. Good, and I like to make these nice and slow. Really feeling that glute begin to burn. We've got 10. Trying to keep those toes pointing down for eight. And six, we're gonna pulse it up in four, three, two, and one, send your right leg up, point those toes, open the hip, lower your left forearm. Start to pulse that right leg up and down. And then begin to wiggle that right hand to the very edge of your mat, creating a slight bend to the elbow. So you're using your arm strength here. Can you pull your right hip further back, creating a little bit of a stretch between your hip flexors for 10. Eight, six. We're gonna make circles with that leg in three, two, and one. Start making big, big circles. Drawing that leg back. Squeezing that bum cheek as you do so. Keep that height. Keep that breath. For our next exercise, we're going to extend that right leg where it is and then bring that right knee to the right elbow in five, four, three, two, and one. Lift that leg up, bring it towards the elbow. Send it back up and to the elbow. Deep breaths. Really articulate the motion. So when you extend, extend your belly nice and long. When you contract, bring that knee in. For five, we're gonna pulse with a bent knee in four. And then we're gonna move to the other side in three, two, and one. Send that knee towards the elbow, little pulses up. Really use the rest of your limbs to keep that stabilization. Deep breaths. I feel the burn. I'm sure you do too. Stay with me. We're almost there for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that leg. Give it a little shake. Oh, and then switch sides. Moving to the other side right away. Hands under shoulders. Hips over knees, left leg goes back. 30 seconds, let's go. Automatically, when you bring that leg up, your belly will want to soften. So just make sure that you're keeping that containment of your core. And with your hands down, your shoulder blades might try to squeeze together. Push the floor away. Leave that back. Four, three, two, and one. Let's make rainbows. Off to one side and then the other. 
Really find height when you come back to the middle. Core is engaged, breath is fluid. You may feel this more in your supported leg, your supported glute. Just breathe through the burn. We've got four, three, two, and when send that leg up, point those toes, drop that right forearm, slide your left hand out and pulse. Create a deeper bend to that left elbow. And then resist the floor with both of your arms. <sighs> Feels like a little bit of a break just because I feel that stretch in my hips. For five, we're gonna move into circles in four, in three, two, and one. Make those circles back and back. Big breath in, long exhalation out. Good job. Lift that leg even higher. Push through it. Stay with me for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift high. Bring that knee to the elbow. Send it high. Bring it towards the elbow. Really engage in that contraction of your obliques your side abdominals. Pushing the floor away, keep the chest nice and high. We're gonna pulse that bent knee. I'm eating my hair. In five, four, in three, in two, and one. Hold it here, little pulses up, and up, and up. Good, push the floor away, especially with that right forearm. Roll those shoulders back. We're almost there, and then we're gonna come onto our side. Breathe with it. Bring that knee closer for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. <sighs> Moving on to our left side. So coming to a laying position. You're gonna let your left tricep land on the floor. Support the head and then bend your knees in front of your hips. Once you have that, flex your feet. You're gonna lift your right knee up and then bring it down. 30 seconds. Simple. Movement, still a big burner. So you're going a little bit up, a little bit down, and trying to keep those knees and heels in the same plane. If you need a break, maybe pound it out, and then join us back in. For four, three, two, and one, clamshells. Open your knees and then bring your knees together. Open your knees, bring them together. 30 seconds. When you bring your knees apart, really open up your hips. And when you bring your heels together, keep your feet flexed, protecting your knee joint. You've got four. And you've got three, two, and one. Lower that leg down. You're going to straighten your bottom leg. Your right foot comes in front. You're going to pulse that bottom leg up. Stimulating that inner thigh. If you want to come up onto your forearm, you can do that too. Whatever is more comfortable to you. So little pulses. Keeping that left foot flexed. Can you draw that left heel up and your left toes down? We're gonna make circles with our left leg in five. In four. Three. Two. And one, make those circles back. 
keeping that foot flexed, trying to make those circles as big as you possibly can without moving the rest of your body. And the higher you go, the more you engage your adductors, your inner thighs. We've got five. We're gonna to move to the other side in four. And deep breaths in three, in two, and one, lower that leg. Oh, and switch sides. Smooth, fast transitions. Get onto that tricep, feel that support. Stack your knees and come right into it. Little up, little down. We're so close to the end. We only have three more tiny exercises after this. And then we'll finish with a little bit of a burner. And then we are done. We've got five. For four, keep the small movements. For three, and two, and one, clamshells, open up them big, and we close them up. Open, and close. Really widening those knees, and just noticing if your range of motion in one hip is a little bit different than the other. Knowing that that's totally okay, and completely normal. For five execute it for four, for three, two, and one. Lower your leg. Extend your right leg and ground that left foot. Maybe come onto your forearm and start the pulse. Try your very best to stack that left hip on top of that right hip. Really allowing yourself to engage that inner thigh. I can feel it. I can feel the ending. We've got 10 and 8. We've got 6, 4, 2, and 1. Make circles back and back. Got this. You got it. Good job. Lift, extend. Imagine drawing on that wall away from you for five and four. We've got three, two, and one lower down. Coming into that bonus feature at the end, we're going to come lay onto our backside, arms beside you. Lift your bum up. You're going to draw one knee towards your chest, extend it up. Bring it in and down. Good, we have a whole minute here. As you lift your hips, make sure you're squeezing your bum. Using your arms to lift your bum higher. This is just a little bit of an added booty burner. As well as hip opener, we've got five. Deep breaths, lift them higher for four. For three. Two. Finish off one more. And one. Good, lower it down. Knees to chest, give yourself a hug. And rock side to side. Roll yourself up. And then bring the soles of your feet together. Draw your heels close towards your groin. Pull your toes and bend your elbows. Just making sure you're not pulling your toes too much on a rounded spine so that your spine is protected. And then let it all go around that spine. Big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly roll up. <sighs> we are done. Thank you so much for joining me today in this 12 minute lower body workout. 
make sure you hydrate, support your muscle system, as well as your energy system. Until next time.